Hi guys, if you're a programmer or aspiring to be one, you are probably familiar with challenges like coding the same basic things over and over, spending hours searching for errors, debugging, going back and forth with ChatGPT to solve doubts, and even adding comments to your code to explain what it does. But what if you had an assistant that can do all these things for you? Which is why in this video, I will share with you three of the best AI assistants for programmers. These AI assistants can complete your code as you type, find and fix errors for you, have a chatbot that solves your doubts, and even translate your code from one language to another language. I'm Brian from Upstate Learners, and let's get started. The first AI assistant that we're going to see is CodeGX, and we'll be using it in a code editor called VS Code. So to set up CodeGX in VS Code, we are going to do three simple steps. The first step is to open VS Code on our computer. So let's go to our desktop and open VS Code. Now the second step is to install the extension. So let's click on the extension icon and search for Code GX. Now click on the extension and click install. All right, now the final step is to log in and set up the extension. So click login then click allow. Now here, click on English to translate this page and sign up using your Google account. Once this pop-up appears, it means that you're now logged in. But by default, this tool is in another language. So to change it to English, let's click on the settings icon. Go to extension settings. Now change the language preference in all these three from default to English. And it's done. Now let's see the different features of Code GX. The first feature is Code Autocomplete. This feature figures out what you're going to type and gives you suggestions to finish your lines. So let's see how it works. We'll start with something simple like calculating the factorial of a number. And as you start typing, you will see the suggestions which start to appear here. To accept the suggested code, just press Tab. And as you can see, it has automatically completed the main function, which is the part from where the code starts to run. Now to get the input from the user, let's start typing the initial lines and after the suggestion appears, press tab to accept. Another way to use this feature is just type a comment describing in simple words what code you want and you will see it suggest the code according to what you type. Pretty easy, right? Now it does take a few seconds for the suggestions to appear, but other than that, it does a good job in identifying what we want and it automatically generates the code. Now, Let's see the second feature, which is code explanation or documentation. With this feature, you can select any part of your code and get the explanation for it right inside your IDE. It will generate a detailed explanation for the code and even add comments like this to make it more readable. This is especially useful for beginners or even for students who are working on a complex code or learning a new concept. So let's see how you can do that. Select a portion of the code, then right click on it, go to code GX, and click explain code. As you can see, it has generated an output explaining the code in detail and it's completely correct. And if you want to add descriptive comments that explain what the code does and how it works, just like the code, right click on it, go to code GX and click generate comment. And that's it. This means that you don't have to keep looking on things on Google or asking ChatGPT. You can get your answers right here in your IDE. Now, sometimes we make mistakes like typos or missing semicolons while typing the code, which can take us hours to find out. To fix this issue, we have a feature called Code Debug. Let me show you how to use it. As you can see, this code has some bug. So let's select the entire code. Now right click and go to Code GX. Click Ask Code GX. Now here type slash and click Fix Bug. And in seconds, it debugged our code. Using this feature will save programmers a lot of time and energy. Now let's see the fourth feature, which is Chatbot. And as the name suggests, it's a chatbot with which you can chat in English and ask any doubts and even give it prompts to generate any code. Let me show you how it works. Just click on this icon. And here you need to enter a prompt or a question. So let's ask it to generate the Python code for a tic-tac-toe game. and the code is generated in no time. Now if we click insert to get it here and click run, you 
you can see that it is working properly that too without any errors it's just like chat gpt except it's solely focused on programming okay moving on let's say you have a code in java but you want the same code in c++ translating it manually will take a lot of time that is where the next feature comes in which is code translation this feature helps you translate code from one language to another so let's see how it works so to translate a code from one language to another go to translation here now select the code you want to translate click here and select the language you want then click on translate and it's done now just open the file where you want to insert this code and click insert so this is how you can translate your code from one language to another in the same way you can also change data from a json format to a csv format or convert data between excel and json formats and so on so these were the five main features of codegx all its responses were quite accurate which makes it really useful for programmers in their everyday work also codegx is completely free so you can go ahead and give it a try now let's move on to the second ai assistant which is github copilot this ai assistant is a result of the collaboration between github and open ai which is why it works on open ai's codex model which supports these 11 languages and it works on all these ids so let's check it out open vs code go to extensions and search for github copilot click the first result and install it then click sign in click allow now click authorize and then click open vs code GitHub Copilot also has the same five features as CodeGX but the way of accessing them is a little different. So let's see how you can use them. For the first feature, code autocomplete, let's type a code for a Fibonacci function. As you start typing, you can see the suggestion starts to appear. Press tab to accept it. Now if you try to type a comment, you can see it gives suggestions for that too. All you have to do is press tab and it completes the comment as well as it gives you the whole code. Let's see the second feature which is code explanation. Now similar to codegx to get an explanation of any code just select the code right click on it go to copilot and click explain this. And the explanation is generated. To add comments or documentation in the code just select the code right click on it go to copilot click generate docs. And if you're satisfied with the suggestion click accept. and it will be added now let's see the third feature code debug if we run this code you can see it throws an error which means there's some bug to debug it select the code right click on it go to copilot and click fix this here a debug code is generated so let's click accept and it will be added here The fourth feature chatbot also works similar to codegx's chatbot. Just click on the icon and the chat box will appear. You can ask it any doubts you have or give it prompts to generate any code you want. To use the fifth feature code translation, select the code that you want to translate. Press control i and simply type convert to java or any language you wish to convert to. Now press enter and it will be translated just like that. Now in addition to all these features, GitHub Copilot has an additional feature which no other AI assistant has. So if you type at workspace, Copilot will navigate through your entire code base and not just your currently open file. This means you can ask questions about anything from your project. Just click on the icon. For example, I can ask can I change this check function of post controller into api from web it will check all the files to understand our reference and it gives us the solution you can use github copilot's great features which are faster and more accurate than others now copilot is a paid platform but if you are a teacher or a student you can get it for free however if you do not belong to this group and don't want to spend money on any paid plans let me introduce you to another ai assistant that is as good as copilot but is absolutely free it's called codium before we see that let me tell you about another ai tool that we have built 
called Gravity Write. It can create any kind of content you need for your business, like website content, marketing materials, emails, and sales scripts. And recently, we've also added some great new coding tools to Gravity Write, like Code Completion, Code Explainer, Bug Detector, Code Generator, and Code Documentation. These new tools make it easier to handle your coding projects by helping you write, check, and improve your code. So, whether you're writing an important email or fixing complicated code, Gravity Write is here to help. It combines tools for writing and coding all in one single place, making your projects better and more creative. So, try Gravity Write and lift your work to the next level. Now, back to Codium, it supports more than 70 programming languages and works on 21 different IDEs. So let's see how to set it up in VS Code. Go to Extensions and search for Codium. Select the first result and install it. Click Login and click Allow. You can install it in the same way we installed CodeGX and GitHub Copilot. Now sign up with your Google account and click Open VS Code. Then you will see this welcome pop up, which means Codium is now set up and you can use it. Just like CodeGX and Copilot, Codium also has those five features. You can check out the first feature, Code Autocomplete, and it works the same just as in CodeGX and Copilot. Just start typing, and as the suggestion appears, press Tab to accept them. You can also just add comments, and it will work the same way. To use the second feature, which is Code Explanation, just select the code, right click on it, just click Explain here, and it will generate the explanation. Now to get the code documentation for this function, click here, and then click Apply. Now click Accept, and it will be inserted into your code. To use the debug feature in Codium, just select a code which has a bug, right click on it, then click here. Now here type check for bugs and fix it and press enter. As you can see, it has generated a debugged code. So just click accept. And now if you run this code, you will see it's bug free and works properly. Let's check out Codium's chatbot. Again, it's similar to the previous chatbots and works the same. But it has this additional feature. If you type add function, you will see all the functions of your code. You can select any one and ask questions regarding it. This will save you a lot of time and help you in getting more accurate answers. Now, the last feature, code translation, to translate a code from one language to another language. Just select the code you want to translate Right click on it, click this option again, and here type convert to C or whichever language that you want to translate your code into. Finally, press enter, and as you can see, it has translated the code. So just click accept to add it. As I mentioned before, Codium is absolutely free for individual users, and that is why it is a great free alternative for Copilot. So you can use these AI assistants and make coding a stress-free and fun job. So let us know in the comments below which one was your favorite and if you have used them before. Now if you want to create a website, then check out Webspace Kit for a super fast reliable WordPress hosting. And if you want to write content, then check out Gravity Write, which generates high quality content tailored to your needs. If you guys like this video, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.